Hey everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a little DIY project that I have been meaning to do for a while now. I've actually had the supplies since Christmas, but I just keep putting it off. So today I'm going to show you how to make this arched earring holder. It only takes a few supplies and it really doesn't take that long. And when we're done, you'll have a really unique piece to hang your earrings. So this project I'll be making today is a design I came up with a few months ago. I was looking online for something to hold my earrings and I just really wasn't finding anything I like. I had something that I made a while ago that I really wasn't loving anymore. So I tried to think of something I could make that would be easy and affordable and in the end would turn out half decent. And this is what I came up with. So first let's start with what you'll need to make this DIY. So to start out, there's two main things that you need and the other stuff you'll probably already own. So the first thing you're going to need is this arch, which I actually picked this up at Target during Christmas time. It was in like that front section where they have everything that's really cheap. I think it was like $3, but I've also seen people selling these on Macari and eBay. Now the next thing you're going to need is the most expensive thing and it is rattan. I picked this up on eBay for $20. It's just a 12 inch by 12 inch square. You can get a bigger size if you want, but this was really the smallest size that they offered. I looked at my local craft store and I really couldn't find this anywhere but online. Maybe able to find some at a thrift store, but yeah, this is the most expensive thing. Now the next thing you're going to need is a strong adhesive. I'm going to be using a clear epoxy. You could probably also use like a Gorilla Glue or maybe a wood glue, but I haven't tried those, so I'm not for sure. But epoxy will work. It's only four or five dollars. You can pick it up at your local craft store or even at your hardware store. Now, an alternative to the epoxy would be a staple gun. I did try this. I didn't really like how it looked because you could see the staples on the outside. I guess you could always paint the staples, but if you're in need of something and you don't have epoxy, you could use a staple gun. And the next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors because we're going to have to cut the rattan. And the next thing you're going to need is some Something to spread the epoxy. I'm just using q-tips but you could use whatever you can find. And then to squeeze the epoxy onto, I just have a plastic lid from an old yogurt container. You can use anything similar that you don't mind if it gets dirty because you'll probably end up throwing it out. And then you're also going to need an X-Acto knife for when we take apart part of the arch. And then to also take apart part of the arch, you need a small screwdriver. And you're also going to want something heavy and flat for when we glue the rattan onto the arch. I'm just using whatever I found around my house. This is a container of plaster and I'll also be using just a bottle of Crest. You could use books for this, but I don't really have books. Basically anything kind of heavy will work. So first we need to take the plastic backing off of the arch windows. I'm just using my Phillips screwdriver to remove the six small screws that are on the back and they weren't in there very tight. They came out pretty easy. Now the plastic piece is still glued to the front. So I'm using my X-Acto knife and kind of like wedging it under the plastic and between the front piece and then I'm just sliding it along the edges. And once you get the X-Acto knife under the plastic, don't do this fast, kind of like take your time when you're sliding it. Then once you've gone around all the edges with your X-Acto knife, you should be able to just kind of wedge your fingers under and then the middle pieces that are still glued will just kind of pop up. Then once you have the plastic piece off, you can throw it away or just set it aside. We won't even need that piece. And then this is how your arch frame should look with the plastic piece off. So now take the arch and flip it over to the front and we're going to grab our rattan and kind of figure out how you want it to lay on the arch. Since the rattan has holes on it, you know, you can kind of figure out if you want to be able to see the arch through those holes or if you want to like kind of cover up the arch with the rattan more. Just kind of mess around with it and kind of figure out where you think it's going to look best because we're going to glue it on here. So once it's glued, you're not going to be able to move it. Best to figure it out before how you want it to sit on the arch. So next we're going to glue the rattan to the arch. So you're going to need your clear adhesive, which I have my epoxy, and then a stir stick, which I've got my Q-tips, and then some type of lid or piece of plastic, which I have just a yogurt lid. Then pour out as much epoxy as you think you'll need. And I'm not using very much. A little bit of epoxy goes a long way. So just pour a little bit out and then make sure to mix it together, otherwise it won't work. And then I'm just putting a pretty thin coat of the epoxy onto the arched frame. I don't want to put too much of the epoxy because I don't want it like coming out on the edges or coming through the holes of the rattan. But you can use as much or as little as you want, but I recommend using more on the lighter side. 
And just make sure to go over the whole arch, even with like a really thin coat, because you don't want the rattan like popping up in some places where it's not glued properly. And after you've got it glued on and in place where you want it, then grab your books, or I'm just using whatever heavy objects I have. And the heavier the object, the better, just because then we can get the rattan to lay nice and flat onto that window and it won't be popping up or like warping in any weird places. Now I let it sit like this for about 30 minutes just because I wanted to make sure that it was super glued on here. And after then you can just take all the items off. And then I did look at my rattan and my arch because I just wanted to make sure that the glue was not only dry, but that I didn't miss any spots where like the rattan was coming off of the arch. If you do, just get a little bit more epoxy and touch up any spots that you need to and make sure to let it sit again for a few minutes before we do the next step. Now this next part is pretty easy. You're just going to need to grab your scissors and then just go around the edge of the arch and cut off any of the excess rattan. Take your time doing this. Make sure to get really close to the edges and try to get them as even as you can. And once you have all the big pieces of the rattan off, go around the edges and just make sure to clean them up nice and tight and make sure that the edge of the rattan and the edge of the arch line up. And once you've cut off all those little excess bits of rattan, this is how it should look like and then we're done. Now I feel like putting your earrings on this is pretty self-explanatory. You just put the front on the front and then if it has a pushback, just put it around the back. But what's really nice is this rattan has those big holes so it's really easy to get your earrings on and off of this. And if you have any earrings that just kind of like are more of like a hook dangle, those can just kind of rest through the hole. You don't even need to put the backs on them. So it does have a hook near the top so if you want to just hang this on your wall and then if you ever, you know, want to wear a pair of earrings, it's super easy just to take off. But I actually decided to create this little stand. I kind of liked how it looked just sitting on my dresser and it's super easy to make. Basically it's just a piece of copper pipe that I had and I just cut it to this length and then I got the little fittings at the hardware store. It's just a twist end and then it twists into this other piece and then I just kind of set the arch against this. The copper stand is pretty sturdy so just to sit the arch against it works pretty perfect. I haven't had it like fall over or anything. Then if I ever need to put an earring on or take an earring off I just kind of lift it off the base but if you don't want to make this you could just set it again against some books or basically anything in the back that is slightly heavy to where the arch isn't going to like fall over. Or again, it does have that hook at the top. You just hang it on the wall super easy with like a thumbtack or a small nail and then you don't even have to worry about making or finding a stand. So I hope you all like how this DIY project turned out. I feel like once you get the materials, it is pretty easy. I'm thinking about posting more DIY projects. If you guys have anything you'd like me to try out, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Listen up, I gotta tell you There is something you should know